Hello everyone, and welcome back to, uh, just another, uh, create, I, I can't actually remember the acronym right now, but welcome back, and, um, I did a little bit of off-camera work, j j just, just a little, okay, I did... I did way too much off-camera work, I'll be honest. Um, as you can tell, we now have a mob farm with an actually pretty genius design. And that's because I've been uh, sort of evolving it with what I need. Oh my word. I will say, I do get a lot of Alright, I'm not gonna be killing all those guys right now. Uh, this chamber is, uh, for spiders only. If we just look in here, you can see only spiders can get in. They don't usually, though. Naturally, I think... I know it's cheating, but... Game mode spectator for a moment. You can actually see how it works. Uh... I honestly don't need this chamber, because this one does the same thing. But mobs will uh, spawn on these platforms, obviously. Walk. It's only two blocks high. I don't want Endermen right now. They'll walk into these channels. Fall down here. And uh, they're being pushed this way, which means... This is where they'll naturally want to go, if they can fit. If they sink in water, they should end up here, but a lot of times they end up over here anyway. So there, there really is no purpose to this. And if they float, obviously, they will end up here. And if they're spiders, they will end up right here, in this little co these little corners. Now, I actually have gotten a few spiders to get into here, but they ha they get stuck on the ceiling and won't come down, so I had to add these areas. So, yeah. It may look like a mess, but it's actually intentional. And this little segment here is so I can pick up drops. So, yeah. That's that. I also did make waypoints uh, off camera. I could teleport around. And it, it, admittedly, it is really required because here's the ladder. Yeah, let's, let's just take a moment to appreciate how stupidly long a hunt over 128 blocks actually is. Yeah. Oh, and also. So, clearly, I needed a lot of bread, so I made all this. This was, let's say, uh, actually, because I can't remember the keybinds for automatic recipes. So, where is it, where is it? I'm pretty sure I've already shown these last time, but I can't remember. Really? I can't find the press? One moment. No, I figured it out. It's right here. <laughs> Don't need to yell at me. Yeah, this is just an iron block and a site casing, which you take a stripped log and right-click it with an andesite alloy. I can show you that later. In fact, I will be showing you that later. Then obviously a shaft, which we've seen how those are made. I don't remember if I showed you how to make andesite alloy, but it's iron nuggets and andesite. Uh, obviously, I think we went over gears. Oh, yeah, I think we did do the millstone. I think. Uh, no, not, not that. Fans. It required, uh, four iron plates per. And the encased chain drive is just that. Then we have one with water, one with fire, one with lava. This one, uh, 
Actually, if we just hit, wait, that, there we go. So lava will, uh, will smelt. We have, we also have bulk haunting apparently, but I'm not going into that yet. We, we have the smoke, which will cook, or fire, and water, which will wet, which is surprisingly useful. Oh, we can turn sand into clay? Oh, it's a 25% chance, so there's... So that hatch, you can destroy sand. Noted. Alright. But, yeah, today I want to at least make, uh... Oh, oh, right. Uh, also, I did a lot of farming. I made these. Alright, is there... Okay, there. Uh, figured it out. So that... I mean, I guess that's the recipe, but... Uh... Okay, there. There's crafting. And this... The, it's, it's just stone, golden, red wool. Uh, I had a lot more cows before, because, uh, yeah. Uh, and that's why I set up the mob farm, is because I want to do enchanting. We obviously have, uh, some iron crops. Will this work? Yeah. So that's, uh, iron termentium which we needed this for. And by the way, I did find diamonds. And also, we needed prosperity. That It's all just easy. Prosperity shards are from mining. Yeah. So, let's see. Is that everything? I mean, obviously, I changed the shape of the base. I uh, grew a bit of sugar cane. Oh, right. I went to the nether for a single piece of netherrack for the fire. I have not been back since. Anyway, uh, let me uh, clean up my inventory and I'll start doing actual progression in this episode. I guess I should show you that uh, I got a uh, backpack as well. Which we can just place down and... Yeah, it's a chest, a sleeping bag, which is just a few wool. Uh... Backpack tanks, which is glass and iron, leather, and a gold ingot. So, you know, that's pretty useful. I have a button to quickly get into its inventory. I also made watering cans, which, yeah, um, this recipe actually uh, can be used for the Mr. Goal agriculture version of it. Which, you can use either of these for this. And then, this is the Tredentium one we have. Which, uh, all these ingots are just that. And Mystical Fertilizer is either of these recipes. I've been using this one because it's better. And we don't actually have that many diamonds. Alright. Anyway. Right. I actually set aside all of this specifically for what we're doing today. So, first things first, we need to strip a log and apply an andesite to it. Next thing, um, I believe this, we need four iron plates. I'll show you the first one and then cut when they're all done. Because this thing is not fast right now. Alright. There we go. And then we just do this. Oh, by the way, um, doing recipes in this doesn't, like, uh, shift clicking recipes into this won't work at all. I, I've tried before. It doesn't recognize it as a thing. Oh, right. I, I think we actually need five more plates. Yeah, one moment. Alright, now we are done. With that, at least. So now we have this. 
which I mean I guess we can place down now but we uh, just place there and then we need that exposed for the blaze burner but oh wait no we need we need this to go higher actually so or in a location where we have more access so you know what I'm gonna move this oh, shoot that was there for a re wow okay that's why that's so slow yeah I'm gonna have to move a lot of things okay um, yeah, Th this is gonna be some setup, but first I need to go fill this, so one sec. Uh, yeah, I came to the nether and I forgot that, uh, biomes of plenty actually changes to the nether. So we may not have to find a fortress if there's a biome that blazes can spawn in, which I think there is. I just don't know which biome that would be. Well, I'll be. I actually found another fortress. This is really handy. I'll probably set a waypoint to this instead of trying to come back here every time because the journey was pretty treacherous. Until I can unlock uh, some form of flight, I think we'll be using waypoints to travel far distances in the nether. Okay, okay, I found... A blaze. Ah, got one. And you know, just for good luck, I'll. I... Nah, I, I, I can kill him. I can't kill him. Run! <clears throat> and we are out of here. <laughs> yeah, I'm not crossing back through the Nether to get back home. I'm sorry. <sighs> I am a coward. I also picked up some glowstone. If I had redstone, I could actually do something, make something really useful. I did loot one chest, so, you know, there's that. And then I need, um, sorry about that, I need some iron. And to fix up this thing. So they can hold all of my things. So I will see you when that is done. Well, I just made a cauldron when I uh, was supposed to make a basin. Thankfully, that's not hard for me to do. But, uh, kind of embarrassing. So let's just do that. I made one too many, whatever, we we have the basin. So let's go back up here and install it. And everything is installed. So we have a, We can access this guy, which he doesn't look like he's doing so well. But he'll be fine. Is this close enough? I think we need to raise this, actually. So I actually put this too low. Yeah, I think it has to be like th this. There. Okay. That's better. So. No. Why did I do this again? Oh, right. We need brass. Which means, yeah. Alright. I'll, I'll get that set up. So, I may have installed an x-ray mod, because I needed zinc. Yeah. Honestly, I just want to know how, uh... Now, what depth do they spawn? Because I've seen them on the surface, but how far down do I have to make my mine? Okay. So, it seems that going... Oh, actually, this stuff spawns pretty deep. But it mostly spawns closer to the surface. So, 
probably say put my mine right about here. So, all right. There. Oh, lovely. Yeah, okay, never mind. I'm just gonna use X-ray to uh, find a bunch of zinc. I'll be right back. Alright, I'll do the first one with you guys. Or I'll just throw it on the floor. That works too. So if we do that... Um... Is it not fast enough? That could actually be the problem, in which case... <sighs> I need to increase the system... And that means I need more water wheels and more gears. Alright, one moment. Actually, before we do that... Yeah, it was worth a try. Okay, okay. I figured it out. You actually need to feed your blaze. And there we go. So let's just throw the rest of these in. I said throw the rest of these in. I said throw the rest of these in. Thank you. Alright. Well, that's gonna do its thing, and I'll be right back when it's done. And it is done. I made too... Oh, excuse me. Too many. <laughs> I only needed to make 21 of these. So, whoops. Uh, next step is actually we need to go back to the nether. Because we need... Wait, we can... What? Oh, that's biomes of plenty rose quartz. We need... Just this create rose quartz. I might add a recipe for that. To make it interchangeable, but uh, for now, I'm gonna go find quartz and redstone. I mean, this is literally right next to the portal. It's not hard to find. Really? This is in the wrong bit. Whatever. There we go. A little bit of quartz. I need a lot more than a little bit, though, so I'm gonna keep mining this. And I'll just go mine redstone off camera. I don't even know why I brought you guys back. This is just a vanilla common thing. Uh, you'll love to see it when that happens. The perfect amount we need. Anyway, I need to go get redstone now. Alright, we have everything we need. So, we just need to uh, craft the rose quartz. Well, I guess we also need to... Uh, sand it to use it so um one moment oh in case you're wondering how it works uh yeah it's like this so i'm gonna go and t do all this and i'll bring you back all right i am ready to start and also apparently uh the recipe makes three not one so we only needed Keep forgetting I changed those keybinds. Uh, we only needed uh, seven of these. So, there we go. Now I just need to figure out how to set this up. I will be right back. Actually, I think I'll, you know, I'm going to build it above surface. Alright, I'll go set this up. I'll be right back. Well... Guess I have to go add more water wheels anyway. Be right back. It is still not enough water wheels. I added eight more. Alright, I guess I'll add four more. Maybe that'll work. Actually, I think that's going to do it for today's episode. So, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. And I promise I won't do as much off-camera work this time. I won't go completely insane. Promise. Okay. Bye.